In project, if you go to a certain task and you start to change the start and end date, you'll be applying constraints, whether you intended to or not. For example, I'm on row 36 and I might decide that the wedding's not going to happen on the 10th of the 12th. I'll hit the drop down and I'll bring it forward to Saturday the 30th of November. When I do so, the date hasn't actually changed, but a little symbol has appeared in the indicator column. By changing the dates, I have actually switched this task from being as soon as possible to start no earlier than the 30th of the 11th. If I wanted to alter that constraint in any way, I would double click the task. In the advanced section at the top, I can see a constraint has been applied, start no earlier than and then the date. I could change this to any other of the constraints listed in this drop down. For example, I might apply a constraint must start on and click OK. And now what I find if I scroll to task is this task must start on the 30th of the 11th and I can see this constraint appearing in the indicator column. If you see a constraint in the indicator column and you wish to adjust it, you'll need to double click the task. If I want the task to move freely, then I must remove the constraint by choosing the option as soon as possible. When I click as soon as possible and click OK, everything flows normally according to their durations and according to their relationships. If I actually change the start date again to the 30th, then double click the task and set the constraint type to must start on and OK, I would now have to work with the tasks that are prior to this task to get them to flow nicely up to the 30th of the 11th. For example, these tasks can't happen after this task. To get these tasks back and flowing nicely up to the 30th of the 11th, I would have to address things such as the durations. Perhaps some of the durations need to be reduced. Perhaps I could implement some start-start relationships in my predecessor column. Perhaps I could also add some leads or maybe delete some tasks that are unnecessary to get all the tasks before the 30th of the 11th to flow nicely up to that constraint date. But what I will do is remove the constraint. So I'll double click the task and I'll set the constraint type back to as soon as possible and OK. And then my task will freely move according to the relationships and durations up to this particular date, the 10th of the 12th.